Workers Party Chairman Sylvia Lim said it was premature for Deputy Prime Minister Heng to introduce the motion in Parliament. This is because they still have the right to appeal the ruling on the Aljunid Hogang Town Council case. She said the party's MPs will file a notice of appeal by the November 11th deadline. Accordingly, the DPM acted prematurely in its decision to file the motion, and I asked the House to reject it. Whatever the trial judge has decided is subject to review by the Court of Appeal. This is a civil proceeding and involves novel points of law. And contrary to what I think DPM had suggested, it has not been decided as to whether any loss has been caused to the Town Council. And on this point, I should put his, this in perspective by referring to the summary which DPM Hing distributed earlier, where the judge states, or it is summarized quite clearly, that the legal burden of proving loss falls upon the plaintiffs. So this point has not been decided as to whether loss has been proven. As members of parliament, Mr. Lau Tia Keng and I have duties to discharge, and this motion appears to be aimed at curtailing us from discharging our duties while the case is still pending for final adjudication. We are still pursuing the matter through the courts and we thank everyone who has stood by us and helped us in our quest for justice. Mr. Heng then requested for an adjournment to consider some points raised by Ms. Lim before responding to them. After the 10-minute break, Mr. Heng asked Ms. Lim to clarify what she had said earlier. Ms. Silva Lim pointed out that it was premature. I would like to clarify with Ms. Silva Lim whether she meant that this matter is sub judice and therefore we should not be discussing this. Ms. Silva Lim. So I did not use the word sub judice. That was not my principal objection. Mm -hmm. My objection is that the judgment is being appealed to the Court of Appeal and the Court of Appeal may reverse the findings or review and vary the findings of the High Court. So it is premature for the DPM to file this motion to call upon the House to do anything when the findings are subject to review. That is my objection. DPM. Well, thank Ms. Lim for her clarification. That I, you confirm that this matter is not sub judice, right? In your view. In your view. Do you confirm that, that this matter is not sub judice, in your view? So my objection is based on the procedures that are available for parties to appeal. I have not taken a position on sub judice. It all depends on how the debate turns. Well, I want to remind the members of this House when, that, when I spoke about the motion, I said this motion is about what is to be expected of members of Parliament, integrity, honesty, and being truthful in Parliament. So can I ask Ms Lim, is this a proper subject for debate in this House? If you wish to reply, Ms. Lim. Mr Speaker, I thought I made myself quite clear uh, in my speech, which was focused on the fact that because the High Court judgment is going to be appealed, and the findings in that sense have not been finally decided, it is premature to call upon the House uh, in the terms of the motion. So the, the operative clause, of course, is, is the last one, where it, it calls upon AHTC to take certain actions. And that, that is the operative clause, and I'm just saying it's premature. DPM. Chairman, thank you. Well, you mentioned about what is interim. So let me repeat myself. Huh? I said this motion is about what is expected of members of parliament, integrity, honesty, and being truthful in parliament. Now this house needs to agree on the principles that all members of parliament must adhere to, and the standards of probity required of all MPs in dealing with public funds. And there are serious issues of probity, accountability, and the handling of public funds that must be addressed now, even while the appeal is being dealt with. There is a judgment of the High Court which stands until the appeal is heard. The question is, what should be done, what should happen between now and the time when the appeal is decided? And that could be some time yet. So in the interim, <coughs> my question is, 
Should the Workers' Party town councillors who have been found to have acted dishonestly and have been found <coughs> to be in breach of their duties, whose conduct was found to be egregious, should they continue to have access to and control public funds? Yeah. So, members will know that when there are similar findings are made in any corporate setting, it's only right and proper that those whose integrity has been impunged to step aside and recuse themselves until they clear their names. So I, will, I welcome the efforts of the Workers' Party MPs to clear their names, but until they do so, they have to be accountable to this House for the findings that the High Court has made. And that must be doubly so when you are dealing with millions of dollars of public funds.